welcome to episode 119 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I share all about my knitting and crocheting adventures. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd. I think Gracie's coming over here to say hello. Are you gonna come say hello? I am in the living room today. You're probably like, you're not in your office. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in the office today. I just needed to just relax a bit today. Things have been a little crazy with all of the move stuff. Um, and then I had a very good run this morning, long run in the heat. And I'm like, I'm just gonna relax in the living room today. We're just gonna be comfy. And the office is, the shelves are getting bare <laughs> because I've started putting my stash into Ravelry and packing things up. Chloe is now getting a drink of water. This is what happens when I record in the living room partly why I haven't, because the animals just go wild when I start talking to the camera. Plus, everybody's been home and everybody is now back in school. School started back in person on this Monday, the 21st. So that's been nice that the house is now empty again. It's just me and the animals at home. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right in. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady. And we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. I will have links down below to everywhere that you can find me, links to the Ravelry group, as well as links for um, project pages, shops, everything that I talk about, I'll have it linked down below. Gracie wanted to come say hello. Really, she just loves, I'm in her spot right now. This is her spot on the couch. Can you say hi? This is Gracie Bell. You guys have watched for a while, you know Gracie. I'm gonna scoot some stuff over here so she can sit with me. Otherwise she is going to <laughs> just sit there and stare at me. Like, woman, I don't know what you're doing, but you're in my spot. <laughs> um, today, let's chat about the Ravelry group very quickly. We have the Stash Busters Cal for 2020 that's going on. This is basically just use your stash. Use it up, there are ways you can earn extra entries and all of the rules and details are over in the group and I will have those threads linked down below. I also wanted to let everyone know that I have notified all of the winners from Summer Sock Camp that they've won a prize. So digital winners, physical prizes that need mailed out, everybody has contacted me other than I think like four people. I haven't checked Ravelry today though. so. They could have contacted me between yesterday and today, but as of yesterday, four people still needed to contact me. These were Ravelry prizes for these four. So if you participated in Summer Sock Camp, check your Ravelry messages, see if you won a prize, and then let me know your address so that I can get that mailed out to you. It went so well messaging everybody this way just direct messaging the winners is gone so much better than any other way that I've ever done prizes. So this is the way it's gonna be done going forward. For now anyways, that could change, but it has just worked out so much better. Normally there are prizes that go unclaimed and I don't know if it's because people get behind on the podcast and they miss that they've won a prize or what, but this has gone so much better. I actually got, I mailed out 20 prizes yesterday I think I have another 16 packaged and then the four that I'm still waiting on information from. So that is a ton of prizes for Summer Sock Camp. That's not even counting like digital prizes, like patterns and things like that, that, and then even patterns that makers were mailing things out themselves. So, so much fun for Summer Sock Camp. I am sad it's over, already looking forward to next year, but just so much fun to have that, that many prizes going out into the world. And I also want to say, please don't message me and ask me if you want a prize. <laughs> I've had quite a few messages lately since I've started doing prizes this way. People saying, here's my Ravelry name, did I win a prize? Check your Ravelry messages. If you do not have a message from me in your inbox, you did not win a prize. Um, I am not typing in Ravelry names, so there's no way that I've typed in the name wrong or something. I am going directly from the winning post, clicking on your username and messaging people. So. Please don't message me and ask if you want a prize. It just makes things super difficult to try to have to look up, go back and see all of that. So just, if you don't have a message for me, you did not want a prize. Um, that's just how we're doing it right now. <laughs> all right, I think that's it for all of the administrative stuff this morning. So today I have a couple of finished objects to share with you, a couple of works in progress and some things I received in the mail. So first up, finished objects. I 
have finished dish class. <laughs> another stack, another colorway done. I talked about that before. I've bought two of the skeins of some different Knit Picks Dishy colorways. So this was the red. This is Knit Picks Dishy Twist in the Fiesta Red colorway. This is a 100% cotton yarn. And with those two skeins of that, I can get, this is six dishcloths right here. So six full dishcloths. And I know I showed this last week as well, talking about how I did it, but for anyone who is new, so there's what those look like. And then for the seventh one, I just finished it off with Knit Picks dishy in the silver colorway. So six and a half dishcloths is what I am getting with those. I am following the pattern exactly. It is Grandma's Favorite by PJ Allen. So I'm doing everything exactly how it says to, and I'm using a US 8, is that a five millimeter? US 8, five millimeter. I don't know that that's the size in the pattern, but that's what I like to use for the dishcloths. So those are done. And I actually started some more, but I'll share those in works in progress. But my next finished object is a pair of socks that I started, I feel like forever ago. I have not been finishing a lot of socks lately because it's just like I've talked about for weeks, all about the dishcloths and just what's bringing my mind peace right now. Um, but I did finish a pair of socks. These are for a gift, so I need to get them packaged up and they will go out tomorrow when I mail out more of the summer sock camp prizes. But this is the Mahogany Run socks which is one of my patterns. And the yarn that I used is by Ott Marie Makes in the Beach Bum colorway. Very pretty. I love how the mahogany run works up in self-striping. So I did US1 2.25 millimeter needles, followed the pattern exactly, slip stitch heel flap, and the size medium. Don't know if I just said that or not, but these are size medium. <laughs> so that's my only two finished objects. I'm still working along on my anchors cardigan. I am, I think I'm almost done with the body. And they have two more buttonholes to do. So I'm getting close to being done with the body. It's getting there. All right, works in progress. Let's just chat about the other dishcloths, the ones I started as soon as I finished those. And these actually, so Eric and I thought it would be fun to do something for the young couple that is buying our house. Um, Cause if you're new, we're preparing to move across country to Ohio to be able to live closer to our families. And um, so we are in the process of selling our home and um, the couple that is buying our house is just absolutely adorable. They put in, the reason I know this is because they put in a sweet letter with their offer telling about them and their kind of their story and all of that. So they're absolutely adorable. And we thought it would be fun to leave a little gift for them when we leave the house. So part of that gift will be these six dishcloths. The seventh I'm going to keep for myself because I think I talked about that last week. Every one that I do that has a gray, that's going to go into my new kitchen in Ohio. But these six will be, I'll be leaving them behind for the couple that's buying our home with some, I already have the dish soap set aside. I'd order most of my cleaning supplies, actually all of my cleaning supplies really from um, Grove. So I have some Mrs. Myers set aside in the lilac scent, which is my absolute favorite. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that with the dishcloths and then Eric wants to leave them a bottle of wine, his favorite bottle of wine. So that's kind of our plan so far on what gift we're gonna leave them. Just leave it sitting on the kitchen counter so they'll see it when they walk in right on the, the raised part of the kitchen counter there. And I thought that would be super sweet. But the next dish cloths I'm working on are in my Fringe Supply Co. Town bag. And I'm not sure if it's just called Navy. Yep, it is. So it's a, just a dishy, just a plain solid. And the colorway is just navy. 
So I am on my second ball. I have four dishcloths done so far in the navy. And I'm on the fifth. The needles that I like to use for these are Chow Gu Red Lace. And like I said before, I use a US 8 five millimeter. Pretty sure it's a five millimeter. I know it's an eight. Yep, five millimeter. <laughs> so I just have that in here. I'll probably have these done by next podcast. I just pick them up and work on them constantly. They're still just bringing me so much joy to work on these dishcloths. And I think that gray, I bought a huge thing of the gray and I think it's gonna look great with that navy. So I'm excited about that. And I'm actually thinking about ordering more dishy. I probably need to do it like today if I'm going to because we have less than a month left here. So, you know, we don't have that much longer here, but I'm getting close to, actually, let me go grab real quick. I'll grab the nitpicks dishy that I have left. Okay, maybe I have more left than I thought I did, but I've just been keeping it in a tote on top of my cabinets in there. And I have some of the dishy twist in the black. So it's just like the red, but it's black and white. I have two of each of these that I'm showing you. And then I just bought some plain black two of those. Um, this is the Dishy Multi in the Flower Girl. And the last one is Pomegranate. So that's all that's left. I mean, two of each, but as fast as I'm going through them, I'm kind of wondering if I should order more to get me through the move. <laughs> because I have a feeling once things start to get, as far as like the movers are here packing things up and all of that craziness and then the closing on this house, the closing on the house in Ohio, just I feel like dish costs are going to be my go-to. So I'm feeling like I should order more. What do you guys think? I think I need more to get me through. All right, now, what next? Oh, I have one more work in progress. So I have this in my bag from Nanny's Attic Creations. Sweet little bee bag. And this is another sock work in progress. I actually have one done. So let me put it on a blocker here. Here's the one finished sock. So for this one, I'm using Lavender Mountain Yarns in the Royal Collection number no. four colorway. Very pretty purple. And I'm doing the Morning Coffee Socks, which is one of my sock patterns. And it's definitely harder to see because the yarn is so dark and it does have some variations and stuff, but it's a very fun, kind of a ribbed pattern. I really like it. Super easy to memorize, pattern, repeat. It's a lot of fun to do. So the first sock's done. These are actually a Christmas gift. So I'm feeling good that I'm gonna have a Christmas gift done to set aside. I'm doing in the size medium which is typically the size I do for most people. And here's the second sock. I've got some past the heel, past the gusset. I think I have nine rounds left and then I'm gonna do the toe. So I am so close to being done. I am working these up on Chow Gu Red Lace, US 1, 2.25 millimeter needles. And this is what I've been working on this morning. I actually, I'm feeling very motivated now that I am so close to the toe. 
So I may work on these this afternoon while I'm editing this video and try to get them done today. That would be nice. My next sock that I cast on is going to be for Wyatt. So I have had, sorry, I'm taking this sock off the blocker and putting it back in the bag while I'm chatting. Um, I've had quite a few people <laughs> message me and ask if I've started my September Desert Vista Dye Works socks. No, I have not, sadly, I have not. I'm just not feeling motivated this month and that is okay. That is perfectly fine. Yes, I would love to do every single month of the knit along and earn a free skein of yarn, but right now life is just so crazy that I don't want to put that pressure on myself to start and finish a pair of socks if I'm just not feeling like I really want to do that. And I'm just not feeling it this month. So I'm just not going to do it and it is okay. And I have zero regrets and I am not sad about it. So y'all don't worry, I'm good. <laughs> I'm working on what brings me joy right now. And I think that is, that is what you should do 100% all the time. I am a process knitter, 110% a process knitter. I knit because I enjoy the process of it. I enjoy the yarn and the needles in my hands. And sure, I love that finished object, but more importantly, I love the process and the happiness that it brings me. And every month that I've done the Desert Vista Dye Works Knit Along, it has brought me happiness. This month, my mind is just not in that headspace to start and finish a pair of socks this month. It's just not. I'm enjoying finishing the socks that I had already started. I am obviously enjoying dishcloth knit, cloth knitting. I am loving working on my anchors cardigan. So I'm just gonna go with that flow and work on what's bringing me joy. And Wyatt has had a bit of a tough week. I'm not really gonna go into specifics, but school started back and it's just been, it's been a bit tough for him with all of the new procedures and changes that are at school. He definitely struggles with stuff like that and um, changes and all of that. So it's been a, a bit of a tough week and he came home yesterday and asked if I would make him a pair of socks. And I said, absolutely. So he picked out the yarn and that's gonna be my next sock cast on as soon as these are off of my needles. So I'm just working on what is bringing me peace and joy and comfort right now. And bringing me peace, joy and comfort has also been buying yarn apparently because I got some stuff in the mail. <laughs> um, let me take a drink really quick and then I'm gonna show you what I received. The dogs are up and moving. They just get so excited. I don't know if they think, I don't know what they think when they see me talking to the camera, but every time I record out here, it's like chaos dogs just can't can't stand it so the first thing I'm going to show you I actually did not purchase this one this one was sent to me so sweetly by Nancy of Trilogy Yarns here is her card and she sent me one of her Halloween advents it is a hocus pocus advent and y'all know me you know I love hocus pocus oh my gosh do I love it it is my hands down favorite Halloween movie of all time. I grew up watching it. I still remember when it came out as a kid. I love it. So I just got this in a Ziploc bag right now because I took it out of the big envelope that it came in and put it in here because I've got back, like most of my stuff has started to be put away and it was put away for showings and pictures and it's just a bit crazy right now. So it went into here, but everything is labeled by the day. There are 14 days that you open. I'm just gonna pull one out and show you. So this is day seven. Everything has something to do with Hocus Pocus on the front here. It is so much fun looking through these. So there are 14 of these. You start on October 1st and then on October 15th you get a full skein. This one says Hocus Pocus. I can't wait to open this. So thinking about the time here, I'll be opening this the day we leave Arizona. We leave here October 15th. I'll be opening this that day. 
So I'm gonna have to open it that morning. Maybe I could talk the boys into, one of them into holding it in the airport so that I can wind it up and start a pair of socks that day and try to have them done by Halloween. That would be fun. Or even if I don't get them done by Halloween, I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself right now, but I could start them and knit on them through the Halloween season right there, the last, last part of October. So I am so excited about this. This is gonna be so much fun to do while we are moving. I don't know that I will open these and like immediately put them into a project. I may just open them and um, set them aside to go in scrappy projects or make a pair of scrappy socks or something. I'm not 100% sure what I will do, but it's gonna be fun. I do know that. I love, you guys know I love mini skeins and little bits of yarn, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, this I did purchase, so a little while back, I received a package from Bitten Mitten, and they sent me some yarn that they had named K. So, like immediately, I don't know if it was immediately after I got it or immediately after I podcasted, but I, I went on and ordered some more of this yarn for a top. I'm blanking on what the name of it is right now, but I will share it whenever I start it. It won't be anytime soon. But here are the three skeins that I ordered, and I can't remember if, I think I only need these three for the top, and then I have the one that they sent me that I was gonna do something else with, but anyways, it might be that I need all four. I'll have to double check the pattern and stuff, but here are the three skeins. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's perfect. Wyatt actually wants a sock, a pair of socks out of this color too, so I told him, let me do the top first, um, or at least I need to double check and see if I just need these three. I think I only need these three because I think it was a t-shirt. But I said, let me double check that. So we picked out another skein of yarn for right now and I will eventually do a pair of socks out of that for him. Okay, last thing that I received in the mail is from Wild Star Fibers. So little backstory on why I purchased this. I have never done a Stephen West pattern ever, never, never, ever. I just never done one. They, I always am intrigued by them and intrigued by how they're worked up, but I've just never joined in with the mystery knit along, never knit one of his patterns. And for some reason this year, it is just calling my name. I believe it starts October 9th is when the first clues released. You can go ahead and purchase the pattern and you'll get, like right now, all you get is like an introduction to the mystery knit along, tips on choosing your colors, all of that. So I had originally was looking through Stash and trying to find something out of Stash that would work. But for the main collar, you need two skeins. And then there are three contrasting collars where you need one skein each. So it's five skeins total. I did not have two of, I'm such a, like buy a single skein unless it's a sweater's quantity. So I didn't have two skeins of a collar I think I did have the two skeins of one, but it wasn't, it just wouldn't have, it's not what I wanted to go for. So I posted on Instagram and asked who was gonna do kits. Who had kits? Was anyone gonna do them? Help. <laughs> I just wanted to buy a kit at that point. Like somebody else put the colors together and I will buy the kit. So Nakia of Wild Star Fibers saw that and messaged me and said, hey, I'm gonna put up kits. I said, okay, let me know when they go up because I am actually working on a sock design with a skein of her yarn and I know that I love it. I love every color she posts and the, the feel of the yarn I love and I need to finish that sock design. I've got one sock done and one started. It's just my mind with the move. I have not picked it back up, but she messaged me when they went up. Here's what I chose. How pretty are these? I love these so much. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So I'll go through the colors here. The main color is Surf, and this is on her, all of these are on her Supernova sock fingering weight, which is 85% Superwash Brino, 15% Nylon. So 
there's the main color. This contrasting is Shooting Star, and then it says under it Batch 061. This one is It's Been a While. And this one, oh my goodness, is Date Night. It is so pretty. I've been going through major phases lately where it's like, I want pink everything, which is so not like, but lately it's been all about the pink. I actually just ordered a running hat today. It's supposed to be like a more breathable fabric to run in. And um, it's bright pink, it's like this. <laughs> Might be a little bit lighter than this, but this pink, I had to have it, especially these two together. Perfect. So this is gonna be my slip extravaganza mystery knit along. I cannot wait. I am going to have everything ready to go and I'll be here with my printer to be able to print out the first clue on October 9th. And if I don't keep up with them, I don't keep up with them. Like I said, no pressure with my knitting right now. I am just not doing that right now. Zero pressure, but I'm gonna start and I'm excited about it. <laughs> so I think that's definitely all the mail that I have today. I have been inputting my stash into Ravelry. I've had a lot of questions because I had asked on Instagram for any tips or tricks to like make it go smoother, pros and cons. Like I had asked for input from everybody that had their stash um, on Ravelry. And quite a few people messaged me with different tips and tricks and their thoughts on it. And I'm so grateful for those. So thank you so much if you were one of those that messaged me. Um, quite a few people wanted me to share the things that I got um, information about. So I'm gonna wait and share that next week because I also want to share my thoughts on it and my process of how I did it, but I've only worked on it one day. I did get 51, I'm not sure, there's like a stash and then 51. I think that's just 51 entries. I don't think that's 51 skeins, is it? I don't think it is. I'm not sure, but 51 things in there. <laughs> because <laughs> some was sweater quantities. So I have like four skeins in one entry. So I'm not sure if that's 51 skeins or 51 entries. If you know that, let me know. But I just did it that one day and then I have been in, that was on Friday. I didn't work on it over the weekend. And then this week, it has been so much about getting summer sock camp prizes packaged and ready to go out the door. So I just have not done anything with stash. So probably next week because I'm planning to work on it, hopefully tomorrow, Friday, and then next week as well. So I will share more on that, and but I just wanna be able to give my input on how I've done it and any tips and tricks that I may have as well for how to do it. So we'll talk more about that later. Um, just checking my notes to make sure I did not forget anything today. I don't think I have. Not too much chatter, really. I've chatted a bit already about how the boys are back in school. They were definitely excited to be around other kids. I mean, Austin has some as far as like, he's been doing basketball and stuff for a little while, but yeah, they were definitely excited to be around other kids. Why it's struggling with the adjustment to all the new procedures and things that they have to do. There are so many different things. I won't get into all of it, but it's definitely been a bit of a, an adjustment this week for him to try to get used to everything. But overall, the one thing they are happy about is just being around other kids, for sure. Eric was in Ohio last week. I don't think I mentioned that last podcast. Maybe I did. I don't typically like to mention when he's out of town on YouTube, just because that seems a little weird to put that out there to everybody <laughs> that my husband's out of town. but. He was in Ohio last week. He got to be there for the inspection on the house. He loves the house, he loves the area. His mom and dad went up and saw the house and they love it as well. So the countdown is on. We have less than a month. I can't believe it. I feel like it's gonna really go by slowly because I am so ready for Ohio weather. <laughs> I've been checking the forecast there every day and I'm just like, I am so ready because as you can tell by my tank top, it is still very hot here, so hot. And I am just 
over it so much more than I ever have been. Um, I think just because I know it's not going to be much longer and we're going to be in fall weather and winter weather, we're going to actually have that change in the seasons. We're here. There's just been, I mean, it is cooler in the morning. Don't get me wrong. It is cooler in the morning than it has been, but it's still hot. So hot. But okay, enough chatting about the weather. <laughs> That's really all that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.